Good morning. I, my name is Gerald McKelvey, and I'm president of the ExxonMobil Foundation. We believe it's fundamentally important to encourage new generations to pursue studies and careers in fields involving math and science. American students, sadly, are falling behind their peers in many industrialized nations around the world. We're very proud to have committed $125 million. In fact, this is the single largest corporate gift to education that we've ever made, and I believe the single largest corporate gift to education in the history of the United States. I want to first recognize also the, the hard work from UALR Chancellor Joel Anderson is here. Uh, his staff members, let's give them a round of applause. They have worked very hard and they've been very diligent in this pursuit of this grant application with us. This was a very quick turnaround time in terms of this process. <laughs> And I don't say that to be negative. I'm just saying it, it had people come together, and we had to come together to make this thing happen. And I really applaud what you've done here in the state of Arkansas. I think it is a national model. We're happy to join with you in the efforts uh, that you already have underway, and we're quite proud to have funded NIMSI and, and really proud of you to be in the first round of, of award winners under the National Math and Science Initiative. Also, Ann Robinson. I'd be remiss if I didn't mention all the hard work that Ann has, has uh, in, been engaged in with respect to this initiative and what she will continue to do. But, Chancellor, uh, everyone at ULR has had a phenomenal uh, role in this process. We thank you immensely for your willingness to commit time and effort from your staff members to enable this to happen, because without that, folks, we probably wouldn't be here today. And so we thank you immensely for that, uh, that endeavor. I, I would call this a really encouraging day for educators in Arkansas because we have the major national corporation, ExxonMobil, through the ExxonMobil Foundation, and we have the NMSI, the National Math and Science Initiative, that have joined with the state of Arkansas and the University of Arkansas at Little Rock to give a big boost to AP programs, advanced placement programs in the state, particularly uh, with an emphasis on uh, math and science. So th this is a big day. There's one other word that needs to be added. Uh, I think the genesis of this was probably in the first extraordinary session of 2004 when we passed the legislation that required all high schools in Arkansas uh, to eventually uh, offer f a minimum of four advanced placement courses. There was a very uh, complete, very competitive national competition for these first seven awardees. And we had states all over the country competing for this money, so Arkansas really is in the first elite seven. Starting next week, I will be the president of an organization that UALR is partnering with called Arkansas Advanced Initiative for Math and Science. The program is going to involve intensive teacher professional development, teacher and student incentives, and we'll work with schools throughout the state. Our goal is not only to improve AP scores, but to ultimately impact the college graduation rate throughout the state. There were 28 states who applied for the first round of grants. Arkansas was one of the first seven to be awarded grants and should be commended for being able to come together and bring so many disparate parts of the education community in Arkansas together on a common project. 